guys so welcome to get up 10 thank you so much for tuning in i am about to share with you guys an episode that i actually recorded live with my facebook and instagram audience back in may but never actually shared with the world and published so we're doing that now and this episode is called but did you ask though and i wanted to give you guys some steps and some ways to help you get what you want because we all want things and um, things don't always just appear out of thin air, so I want to give you guys the tools to get to what it is that you're asking for. I also, so it's July 29th today that I'm recording this and hopefully releasing it. Um, I do want to advise you guys to stay tuned for the month of August. Um, I will definitely do an episode where I update you guys on what's going on in my life. I've definitely been super low-key, but I've been doing things in the background, and so I want to talk about that and just the lessons I'm learning, because life is all about the lessons that you learn and then sharing those things with other people, I believe. So I'm about to do that, but for right now, to, you know, what's the saying? You know what? I'm not about to be corny right now. Right now, I'm going to share with you guys this episode that I did back in May. And even though I did it back in May, I still feel like it's going to be right on time for you guys. So thanks again for checking out Get Up 10. And without further ado, here's the episode. And also, side note, I probably did an introduction from back in May. Just go with it. <laughs> I hope you guys take notes and get something good out of this. All right. Hey, guys. I know it's been a while since I gone live, and don't worry. I'm going to go live in the future, <laughs> but I wanted to do another episode of Get Up 10 because it's been way too long, and I just haven't made the commitment as a mom. I've been definitely being a present mom, but I know that I need to create and do my thing, too, so I'm super excited to share this. I, I don't really think it's, it is my idea, but like this concept with you guys um, that I call Ask. And it's really just three steps on how to get what you want, because we all want what we want, right? So I'm going to help you out. So the title of this episode is, But Did You Ask, Though? Like, did you ask? Um, And the inspiration for this idea is three words, ask, seek, knock. And if you know, then you know, Matthew 7, 7, ask, and it will be given to you, seek, and you will find knock and the door will be opened um so I remember reading this verse a couple months ago and it really hit me for a lot of reasons because not only does it the first part is ask right like not only does it tell you to ask but like ask seek knock like those literally the first letter of those words spells ask like there's this big emphasis on asking so ask seek knock and so I want to dive into those three concepts a little bit more really quickly before I hit the gym, y'all, because <laughs> got to keep the mom bot off fleek. So the first part is ask. So let's talk about this. Ask. Like, did you ask? Um, so I was reading this book on wholesaling when I was, like, heavy into the real estate investing. And one of the quotes that really hit me from the book was that the quality of your life is directly related to the questions you ask. And something that I also wanted to talk about one of these days, aka today, was this whole concept of asking why. So if you don't know, by background, by training, I have my degree in nursing. And in nursing school, we talk about communication because you're going to have to talk to a lot of different types of people. And so in nursing school, we were taught that you don't ask why because it can be perceived as a judgmental question. However, as I live my real life, because the best learning that you'll ever do is real life. I realized that that question why is super important. Like if you're just going throughout your life without stopping to ask why, you're going to just be going through the motions. You're not going to achieve greatness because greatness, success, all that good stuff, that's intentional. It's deliberate. It's planned. It's not by accident. So if you want to live a successful life, you have to ask why because you're going to realize that you're doing some some things, your some of your behaviors and mentalities and all that, you're just doing them because you're used to them or because you were taught that way or because you experienced trauma, but they're not actually productive behaviors or mentalities or whatever it is. So even though I was taught in nursing school not to ask why, I'm going to disagree respectfully and say, ask why. All right. Ask yourself why. And if you feel feeling brave, ask some people why. You know, it's always good to Ask other people why they think what they think, why they do what they do, and to learn more, not because you're trying to judge anybody or attack anybody, but just for 
curiosity's sake. I'm very curious. I mean, people might say nosy, but I like to use the word curious. So I want to encourage you guys to ask questions. So ask yourself why. Why do you want what you want? Why are you doing what you're doing? Why do you think what you think? Who taught you that? And also, if the creative process and all of this kind of stuff, like whatever it is that you're dreaming of that you want, ask yourself, does it exist? And if it exists already, cool. Like, you know, it's out there. Go get it. And if not, then maybe it's up to you to create it. So know that it is possible. So that's the first step of this whole three-step process to getting what you want. The first step is to ask. Ask, ask, ask. Ask questions, all right? The second part that this verse talks about was seeking. And when it comes to that, I thought about, like, doing your research. You know, we might have to make some phone calls. I hate making phone calls. Fun fact, like, when I have to make a phone call, I get, like, anxious. When I get a phone call coming through on my phone, I get anxious, let alone making a phone call. Like, when I see my phone ring, like, I freeze a little bit. I'm like, oh, like, eh, they leave a voicemail if it's important. <laughs> but as I live my life and put my big girl panties on, sometimes you got to make a phone call. Sometimes you got to take a trip. I was just on Facebook the other day, and my friend Eva, I don't want to say her last name. I'll just say Eva Empowers. If, if you know, you know. Um, she was talking about how she just took a drive from, like, Michigan to Detroit or vice versa to go look at a rental property, and I thought that was dope. And that's what it's going to take sometimes, that you're going to have to hop on a plane, get in your car, and go visit something, go see something, go to a conference, go visit a rental property, go look at houses, go see something new, go to, did I say go to a conference? I don't know, but I'm so big on conferences, y'all. So maybe you need to read a book. Like I mentioned in the beginning, um, and not in the beginning, but a few minutes ago, I was really into real estate investing. And so I want to, and I still am, it's still a goal of mine. But before you can act on things, you should do your research, do your homework. And so I read a book. And so I want to encourage you that if you're interested in something, do your research, read some books. I think we all know, like, most people don't like to read, but successful people read. That's just, that's what the facts say. It is what it is, you know. Um, and maybe you need to write some things down. Maybe you need to make some lists, like I do as well, because I know, oh, yeah, I need to organize my life. <laughs> maybe you need to write some, first of all, I'm pretty sure I've talked about the power of writing things down. Put things down on paper and watch things get real. That's one of my favorite quotes. So write some things down. Make some lists. Um one thing, so I have a list of 300 things that I'm asking God for, and I've been working on this list for actually a couple of years now, because it's a lot harder than you think to make a list of 300 things, but I am working on it. But on the flip side of one of those list papers, I wrote out the details of my dream home. Like If I custom built my dream home, what is it like? I sat and I wrote down all the details. So maybe you need to do that. Maybe you need to draw something, write something, paint something. Um, I know there's like all technical digital stuff now. Maybe you need to pull out your tablet and like, I don't even know what the app is called, but like if you're a graphic designer, digital designer, you need to like do that. Like who cares if I used to open up paint on my computer or is that, I, think, I think that's what it's called, like paint and just make watermelons. I don't know why I was like draw the line and then the like arc and then fill it with pink and then put some black dots. Anyway. When you're bored, you're bored. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> but, like, maybe you need to take some time to create. And that's all part of your preparation because the last step in getting what you want is knocking, all right? That's the physical manifestation. When whatever is in your head finally comes to be, finally comes to pass, finally happens, like, the in text, it says, knock and the door will be open. Well, you can't knock if there's no door. So... The last step of getting what you want is just knowing that it's going to happen. They will come to pass. You will live in that house. You will meet the love of your life. You will get that degree. You will get that job or maybe become your own boss. Like whatever it is that you want in life, I need you to know that it it can happen. It will happen. It's going to happen. And I just want to say as I'm wrapping up that everything that I've talked about, asking, speaking, knocking, these are all action words. Like, social media is cute, y'all. Like, <laughs> it's so cute. Um, I love all these posts about this is going to happen. Claim it. This is going to happen. Receive it. This is going to happen. Believe it. You can believe, claim, whatever, manifest, imagine, 
all that you want, but if you don't do work, if you don't put in work, if you don't put some action behind all that manifesting and cute, whatever you want to do, that's not actually doing the work, it's not going to happen. But so keep in mind that like, it's going to take action to get where you want to go. And ask, seek, knock, those are all action words. And they spell out ask. All right. So I think that's the first step is just asking, um, being brave enough to say, does this exist or why, or is this possible and knowing that it is and so after definitely want to encourage you guys to put in that work but also I think the most important thing is to believe that it's going to happen it's going to come to pass and yeah so quick wrap up I'm going to say the verse one more time ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find knock and the door will be open keywords ask seek knock and those are all action words so i hope this encourages you guys to get to work um maybe you need to do some research maybe you need to put your research into practice either way i hope you guys got something from my live today and it was good to be back on live and if you're listening to this recording um thank you for following my podcast and my journey and i definitely will be on again and i have so much to talk to you guys about but right now i gotta hit the gym because that's my happy place right now (laughs) bye y'all